storms this afternoon could produce a lot of lightning, which is not only common this time of year, but it's potentially dangerous. So you can see in this map behind us, areas shaded in red to the west and south of the metro see the most lightning strikes. Our Micah Smith is live this morning with details on why this is the case. Micah? Molly and Brian, the immediate Denver area is a funnel for converging wind, making for some crazy hard to predict weather. And that's partly because of the natural spin that takes place around the Denver area, causing an increase in storm activity, especially for the front range. Now, according to the latest statistics from the National Weather Service from 1959 to 2017, 148 people have died after being struck by lightning in Colorado. Our state ranks fourth in the nation for lightning strike deaths in that time period and that parts of the Metro are most susceptible, susceptible to lightning are the foothills west of the city and the Palmer Divide, which is south. If you find yourself in one of those areas during a lightning storm, here's what you should do. Stay away from trees and open fields and get away from anything tall. If you're inside, do not shower or wash your hands while it is lightning outside. Avoid using anything with an electrical cord. Um, ironically, in that scenario, your cell phone and a remote are safe because they're not connected to anything corded. But if lightning strikes your house, it could be transmitted through the wires and through the plumbing. So there's still a risk indoors. Now, before I wrap things up here, I want to show you exactly where in the Denver Metro a lightning activity is especially increased. We're talking Arapahoe County, Jefferson County, and Douglas counties. We do have this map plus a lot more information on our website, thedenverchannel.com. We have that lightning story for you right there on our homepage. Reporting live, Micah Smith, Denver 7.